You know, socialists obviously in many ways talk about economics all the time, right? Socialists talk about capitalism, class inequality, and so on. But you know, at the end of the day, economics, I think, is often complicated. Sometimes it's very abstract. So the final question for you, I think, is, you know, what do you think is sort of the main thing that socialists should understand about the economy? And if we're looking forward, um, what do you think the main priority of any social socialist economic policy should be? Well, I'm afraid I have to say for economics that I'm disappointed in my profession. We spent most of our lives rationalizing, justifying, and putting a happy face on a, on a reality that's very different. The most important thing economics should teach you is that you live in a society of profoundly conflicting interests. Mm -hmm. If you can see that slavery is governed by a fundamental contradiction, between the needs and the interests and perspectives of the master versus the slave. And if you can see it applied in feudalism to the Lord and the serf, then you've got to wrap your head around the fact that capitalism was not only not an escape from those, but simply, excuse me, simply a reformation in which Lord and master are replaced by employer, and serf and slave are replaced by employee. That's the fundamental problem. That conflict shapes the distribution of wealth and income and literally the price of everything in the store. If you don't deal with that, then you are implicitly and perhaps unconsciously reinforcing the system. You are not helping people understand it, let alone change it. All right, Professor Wolf, you've been very generous with your time. Thank you again so much, and hope we'll see you soon. All right, thank you very much, and I'm glad to have this opportunity to talk about these things. Thanks so much. Take care. If you like this video from The Jacobin Show, please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks.